thing they have at Envy Liquor right now. It is so hoppy that in order to get rid of the hop, somebody had to down a two liter bottle of pop. Who fucking said that? One of the guys down at Envy Liquor. They're oh, filthy liars. Mm -hmm. Poppiest thing I got down there is probably either Red Racer, maybe not even Red Racer, or Red Racer definitely isn't. Garrison Imperial. Red Racer isn't down at that one. Oh, that one? Oh, well, there you go. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. We got Heist Almighty, the fuzz with the cool shades, and the will work for beer. He's even got one bottle cap stored in there. Hey, don't grab my bottle cap! Sorry. We got Heist Almighty, we're at Sith Manor tonight, <laughs> and uh, we're still waiting for someone to show up. So, so there's two Dawn. heists. There's two heists. Yeah, two. Totally two heists. Hey, Heist. Hey, Heist. Mm. Heist. You're oh, introduced. Sith. Did I? Sith Almighty, okay. <laughs> Sith, Sith Almighty! Almighty. Did I didn't even say Heist Manor. No. Yeah, no, you didn't. No? Nope. Oh, damn. <laughs> Man, have another beer. You're not even drunk yet. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm still thinking about Dawn hasn't showed up yet. Has he got another Get you all off your game. Oh, he's got me off my game. Okay, we're going to do a beer that actually I've reviewed already, sort of. I reviewed it with the Albino Rhino up in Ontario. And it, the, like, they, it came out to liquor stores. It was the day I left for the Rhino Beer Tuber Palooza. And, uh, yeah, I bought a six-pack and brought it right up, and everybody seemed to like it. But I wanted to give a review of this, share it with the guys here, and do my own review of this one. And I'm, I'm not everybody. And I'm gonna I know. This you're going you're gonna to hate this one. Actually, if you want, you can grab another glass bottle of this and we'll have more to go around. That's quite, no, right. it's quite all right. <laughs> I don't have to worry about giving you the bottom because there's no dregs to be had in this. I thought I gave you a bottle of this already. Shit. <laughs> you want more than that? We'll see. No, that's good. Okay, cool. That's good. Yeah, water. Water. Drink your water. I love it. We rinse our glasses out after every beer, by the way. It's just there's a little bit of water left in somebody's glass here. And... Let's give some of the hoppiest beer and be liquor right now to uh, the Sith, or Heist, if I called him that. Sith Almighty. Sith Almighty, yes. What's it say on the back? It says, programmed with five West Coast American hops, Hop Bot IPA brings out waves of absurd citrus and tropical aroma and flavor. The Citra Centennial Mosaic Summit and Willamette hops provide 70 IBUs, which are perfectly balanced by 70. a solid malt backbone. So the human tongue can only perceive up to 80 IBUs, so you're... <laughs> you might be alright. It won't be yet. Why do we do this to the fuzz? Why? Because it's hilarious. we secretly hate you. No. <laughs> we like you, but we, we also like the reaction on your face, too. Nice caramel color. Nice caramel mm -hmm. color. I can smell it already. Good caramel in it. Mm -hmm. Finger ahead on it. And uh, it's very slow-moving carbonation, kind of indicates Good maybe a thick body. Yeah, Good lacing. This is actually... It's not a bit thin. But <laughs> yeah, for those Bracken Squirrel know. fellas, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, uh, considering this came from that Moosehead subsidiary, Hop City, um, Hopbot IPA, if I didn't introduce it properly, because somebody distracted me at first. It has that robot on the front. What is the robot carrying, Fuzzbot? He is carrying hops. Fuck! <laughs> it's hops! Hops, hops. 7.1 inches. Destroy. Okay. Destroy. All right, destroy the fuzz. It smells like hops. Destroy the fuzz's palate. Oh, oh man! Oh, that's some that's five West that's Coast hops nice right there. Nice hops there. That's a nice grapefruit. Mm, nice, smell. nice grapefruit. Grapefruit, little pine, flowery, tropical. Mm. Pine, yeah, little. I can still smell it. Tro <laughs> tropical and a little flowery. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, little flowery. Oh, fuck. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Remember, I started two point five and worked out. <laughs> The grapefruit and the pine really come out in that one. Oh, it burns. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot of hops. Actually, you know what? That's an impressive amount of hops considering who it came from. Yeah, all Effectively, things. Moosehead made this beer. My cow, because I feel like I'm just eating you, the grass. How do you think we got this beer so fast in New Brunswick? This is the first place in Canada to have this beer. It was nice. made by Moosehead at their brewery over here on the west side. Did, really... you, did, did you bring this up to the beer palooza? Yeah, oh. I just explained that to everybody. I thought you bought it up there. No, so it wasn't I brought it, I brought brought it up, up there. there. Okay. I, the other day I left, I bought a six-pack of this and took it with me, and they reviewed it up in at uh, Beer Tube Blues. I even gave one to Average Joe. Did wow. he like it? Yeah, they all liked it. Yeah. Remember, this there's is, people that like hops, and, this is and not you. Pretty hoppy. Mm. This is pretty impressively hoppy for what it is. And you know what? Um, other than it doesn't have the soft carbonation, I, still I, found, I found it tasted a lot like that Moosehead Cask IPA we had at the Beer Fest. 
It is very similar. Yeah. I think the, I honestly think the Cask IPA might have been a little better balanced than this. Mm. It wasn't yeah, quite as bitter, sport. but it had I, a yeah, better... Yeah, I think that better balance might come from the carbonation that was in it. The yeah. smooth, that smooth cask I think, it, I think it had a little a little beefier malt profile to it. Yeah, because the, the carbonation masked some of the malt that came out in it. Yeah, this does not have a pile of malt. Mm. I feel like they, they did go all out with the hops, but it doesn't quite have the, the malt. doesn't have the malt to back it up. Yeah, it's, it, it's all... It's all out front. There's nothing, nothing in the back. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can, I can, I can taste that too. There's, it comes it's right at the tip of your tongue. Lots in tip of your tongue, and then nothing in the back. Mm. It's not bad. Oh yeah. I, I mean, mean, I'm not gonna. Bad. I would, I would never like, you know, say bad things about this or fail it or anything by no means. I mean, this is a vast step forward in anything that Moosehead has yeah. commercially produced. Um, but this is their subsidiary oh, sorry. number, right? Well, this is kind of like their... Yeah, yeah but this to. didn't hold a candle to the uh, Moosehead I Cask IPA. No, 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 no. Not, a, not at the beer festival. But I was saying, like, the flavor profile is very similar to that, but I think because of the carbonation that was in the cask one, yeah. Yeah. balanced it out a little bit better. Anyway, dulled the impact of that, that hot bite. Uh, but, it, I mean, is, is it a good IPA? I think so. I, I really like this beer. Yeah, I mean, like especially considering who it came from. Yeah, all things considered, I mean, it's it's not quite Red Racer, but it's no, it's, it's not. you know it's nipping at the heels. It's nipping at the heels, and actually, to quote what Average Joe said about this, is like this could probably stand up with a lot of the American IPAs if you were handed it to it in a glass and not told who what it is and where it's from. Yeah, like you know this yeah. this could be a Sam Adams product, and I would totally believe you. Yeah, like Latitude Two Forty Eight. Yeah, like this there. could totally be, you know, one of their. Hops, what do they call that? Like the Hoptology series? Yeah, or something? yeah, something like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. There's, I, no, there's no reason why this couldn't be that. But is it over? Is it fantastic? I mean, well, okay, for who made it, it's fantastic. But honestly, and is it like, this, is it a big tier IPA? Now? Between this and the Boundary, and then like some of the other like kind of quirky one-off stuff they've been experimenting with, mm. I feel like they're moving in a good direction. Mm. Well, I think Moosehead's probably moves, moving in the best direction of all the big brewers, really. It, it seems like they're moving into craft market areas. Yeah, and they're doing a better job with it uh, with Hop City. It's not like with Alexander Keese in their One Hop series that tries but doesn't try hard enough. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely better than anything the One Hop series has put out so far. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, hands down. So what do we? What do you say? Ah. Struggling between a 3.25 and a 3.5, and, and I can't quite decide, because I just gave Lefe Brew a 3.5, and, and this isn't as good as that, but it's better than 3.25. I've given IPAs on different merit. Yeah, I don't it's know. A, it's, a, it's an IPA, consider it for its category instead of against the left brew. Alright, 3.5 then. 3.5? Yeah. What do you think, Sean? Seven? Out of the uh, 101, I'm going to give it a 011. One. 3? You don't like it that much? Three's not a bad mark. Well, it's no, not it's a bad mark. Okay. I can't I remember what it. I said. I know I like this best of all the Hop City products, and I'm just struggling to think, oh, man, I want to I wanna give it too much higher than you guys, but I, at the same time, I was thinking 375 just because, Dave, like, really as, as far as, how, like, I like it, and I, I'm really impressed with it, what they're doing. I just wish they had more malt in it, but considering, like, I think I gave Big Mouth Paleo, like, a 3.5 or something like that. And I yeah, think it's this better, is better than that, than that. so... Yeah. yeah, no, that's reasonable. Right. Oh, and I can't remember what I gave it up in uh, in, in Ontario because that was a lot of beer in a while ago. Yeah, <laughs> you can remember anything. I couldn't. Remember, you I can't remember, remember much. There's, they're posting beer reviews from that fest. I don't remember doing. <laughs> You're in the videos though, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Yeah. I'm drinking this like some weird five paddles one, and I'm like, okay, I did that one. Oh, that beer. Okay. <laughs> oh, the one before I blacked out. Yeah. So yeah. we speaking mm -hmm. of blacking out, we haven't uh, talked about to uh, Silverface here. And you really want to buy a review? Yeah, yeah, I want your review because this it's, is this is the perspective of an average beer average beer drinker who's actually mo beer moving drinker. past Moose Light, which is commendable. I had well, I had that Rattler there; it wasn't too bad. It was a little wasn't it fruity. It was grapefruity. Yes, yeah, this is grapefruit. a little grapefruity too. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not a big grapefruit fan. Um, it, it's hoppy, but like you said, I am kind of migrating away from the loggers and into a little bit more passable beer tubing things. <laughs> um, <laughs> Try to say that a little more angry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be as nice as I possible. Can't, I can't drink as cheap anymore. Yeah. But um, because it's super hoppy and I started at 
two point five and work myself down. Hmm. I'm still not. I'm still not. Oh, going that's up. fair. Whatever you say. Man. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, one two five. One two fuck. I didn't think you'd go that low, but yeah, that's half I, as good as he could have done. That's like on a scale of like real scale. Yeah, that's two well, and a half. You're considering he's no. more aiming towards the more mass market yeah. acceptance yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like you probably no, wouldn't approve no. of the Alexander yeah, yeah, Keys yeah. because it doesn't. It's not quite as often. Zero to, I don't like yeah, Alexander yeah, Keys yeah. to begin with. Well, I wasn't talking about the real IPA oh, okay. from Alexander Keys. I'm talking about their one hop series. I had their one hop series, and I that? thought it was better than this. There you go. Well, that's, that's like that's your, your opinion, man. man. Yeah, and that's what you brought. You brought you for. Okay. And we're gonna feed you more beer. So sounds like a plan. You're doing your work for you. Or I'm doing my you're, work. You're working for your beer. Thanks for watching, folks. Cheers. Cheers. Oh,